a bill to provide monthly payments of $2,000 to Americans within a certain age and income bracket is gaining steam with a batch of new congressional support. Let's go over the second stimulus check proposal and all the new updates. Hey everyone, welcome back to the Finance Kit. As always, I'm Dion and in this video I want to go over the new developments around the $2,000 per month proposal as a second stimulus check for Americans. If you have already subscribed to my channel, thank you very much. If you have not, please consider subscribing as there will be more daily updates on the stimulus situation as well as some personal finance tips in the future. So, the emergency money for the People Act introduced back in April with 18 Democratic co-sponsors would provide monthly checks of $2,000 to every American 16 years and older making less than $130,000 a year. This we already know. It's been rehashed over and over and over in the news. We know that this will be a much needed boost to the personal finances of a lot of Americans. The proposed bill would also give an additional $500 per child up to three children and would last six months with the option to extend it for another six months if the crisis continues the way it is. What is more interesting is that since it was introduced, the bill has gained additional support from Democratic co-sponsors and has been praised lately online by progressive groups including supporters of former president candidate Andrew Yang. If you remember, during his presidential campaign, he pushed a similar concept in his universal basic income proposal. Another positive news that came out recently about the second stimulus check is that one of the new co-sponsors, Representative Suzanne Bonamici, I hope I pronounced her name right, on Saturday she announced her support for the legislation. She tweeted that monthly payments of at least $2,000 during this crisis will provide more security for many families in Oregon and across the country. Let me know down in the comments below if you would like to see a second stimulus check and if that would be helpful for your financial situation. On the other spectrum, at the same time, we had the White House economic advisor Kevin Hassett saying that another round of coronavirus relief legislation might not be necessary as there is push for Congress to provide more federal funding. We know Congress has already passed trillions of dollars in unprecedented legislative relief in response to the pandemic. But the scale of the devastation that this crisis has inflicted has led lawmakers to consider another round of aid. Recently, several states have started lifting their stay-at-home orders and reopening their economies, despite the health expert advice otherwise, and testing not yet being available fully. So, will there be a second round of stimulus check payments? It's not greedy to ask for it, is it? especially considering that the initial $1,200 might not cover the expenses for people who have lost their jobs or have faced additional financial obstacles in the past few weeks. So in a recent survey, the financial technology firm Simply Wise found that 63% of Americans will require a second stimulus check within the next three months just to pay bills. Congress is working on a follow-up of its first relief bill that should be completed very, very soon. Um, with this information, the House could push to enact a second round of stimulus checks or even a monthly payment system. The President also had a few things to say in the last couple of days. Um, answering questions to the press earlier, he said, we could very well do a second round of direct payments. And then he added, it is absolutely under consideration. However, on May 3rd, about a day later, he also said that payroll tax cuts are very important to the success of the country. Um, this is promising, I believe. If a second stimulus, however, is mainly focused on payroll tax cuts, 
How does that help people that already lost their jobs? What are your thoughts? Let me know down in the comments, please. Um, however, even if a second check does happen, it may take a while to hit our bank accounts, um, considering many people haven't even seen the first one of $1,200 yet. Also, a news that just came out right before I started recording this video is the Newsweek report that GOP is reluctant to spend more money given the current national debt. This is a big concern um, and they may want to wait until they study closer how the aid that they've given so far has impacted people. So let me ask you, how did the first stimulus check impacted your situation? Let me know down in the comments. Um, and also, how long will this study or this waiting period continue for? And will the House, the Congress move forward with a second stimulus check payment? We'll know more hopefully soon and I will bring you those updates as they happen. I hope this video brought some value to you. I will do some more stimulus check updates as the news breaks. I will not rehash the same information over and over and over. So if you need answers to some other stimulus questions, please check my other videos. They are in the description. Um, I've done pretty much everything that's come out so far. So if you want to stay up to date with what is new and not watch the same thing over and over and over, consider subscribing, please. If you like this video and it was valuable to you, please share it. Um, you can also hit the like button down below. I would really appreciate that. As I said, in the description are the links to all my other stimulus videos. I will not be redoing those. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments. I will answer those for you. Thank you for pushing your financial mindset towards a better reality. Hey, hit that subscribe button right now. Um, until next time, stay positive, master your finances, and take a good care of yourself and those around you.